How you doing? I'm Dave Reinhold. Welcome to the show. Today, I want to show you guys how I set up my uh, guide rails for you know doing uh, using my TS55 track saw. You can use TS55, TS75, and also how I can set it up using the same um, rails and using the LR32 connector to space them out equally, so all your holes line up when you're uh, using your LR32 kit. First, we're going to jump off. I'm going to use two guide rails. Uh, I got a 55, the 1400 rail, and I got a 1080 rail. These ones happen to have holes just for the demonstration purposes. It can be used without the holes to set it up for just uh, running the track saws on. First thing you need are two connectors that are sold separately. Two of the guide rail connectors are sold separately. We're going to put some annotations in here giving you the part numbers on what these actually are. Okay, and let's jump into it and show you how I set it up. First thing I do is I take the one, slide it in here, and I just kind of just quickly just tighten these down ever so slightly so it doesn't slide everywhere. Okay. So we're going to slide the top one in, and we can leave it loose because we can always handle it. I'm going to slide the other rail together. Boom. I'm making sure that uh, the screws are kind of equally spaced and I just grab my track saw and I just kind of lay it on here and I want it to kind of kind of help bridge it make sure everything is kind of straight in line and next we're gonna grab six foot level make sure there's see we're no kink in here we're gonna take all of it out we're gonna hold our rail really tight to the six foot level making sure it's good and we'll start snugging up these screws. One, two, and we'll scooch it back. Three, four. Don't crank them too hard, you'll dimple the rail. I found that out. And it's removing pretty smooth. We'll just remove this real quick. We're gonna flip the rail right over. Again, I use my six foot level, make sure everything is really nice. We just gotta center this a little bit better. Loosen it up. Center it. Make sure everything, I can't stress this enough, you gotta keep checking that six foot level because the last thing you need is a little belly in on your cuts. Tighten these down. All good. Okay, we're gonna flip it back over. Last check I do, six foot level again. We're good and tight, all the way down, nice. And we're gonna grab our 55, throw it on there, we're gonna see. It's moving nice and smooth. So I've been using this type of method, joining the rails for quite a while, it works. It's nowhere near as fast as having a nice long 3000 rail. I have one of those and I keep it in my truck. It's just amazing. I don't have to worry about checking it, but if you're going back and forth to the job, you can throw them in, in your uh, Festool bag. You can throw two 55 inch long rails in there. Um, throw the connectors in, in either the pouch or in your, in your, ba in your uh, sustainer. And you can join rails together so you can cut down eight foot sheets. It works. Just remember to check it every once in a while with this because you move it. You know, every once in a while you move it, they can go out, get a little belly in it. So just make sure every every couple of cuts, you, when you're throwing a rail around, you're checking it with your six foot level, making sure it is nice and straight. That is key. And you should have no problems with it. So that's how I set it up. Uh, two rails, join two rails together to use with the track saw. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Only this time we're gonna space these so that I can use my drill my, my holes for the LR32 hole drilling kit with the uh, with the router. This time I'm just going to loosen these up, all four of them. Flip it over, loosen up this side. I always just find I loosen them all. It's better safe than sorry. Sometimes if you just open loosen two, you can just end up kinking it. And this way, it, everything can move nice and independently of each other. So we got them loose. You're going to use the LR32 connector, which I'll put another link down in our 
Be another little link in the video. And all you got to do is you fit two of them to these holes, and it'll space it your rail really nice. Like fit in there really snug. Watch it. We're gonna line it up. Boom and boom. Still not in there. They're really snug. When you get it, you get it. Okay. That's spaced. We're gonna use six foot level again. Hold and making sure it's hitting constantly across this whole rail. Make sure your connector is equally spaced on the rails and it's fine to have that gap. That gap is totally normal. The rails are gonna be spaced perfect for this. Do that. I'm gonna make sure that's still snapped in there. I'm gonna flip it over. You can see it's snapped in there. Again, throw the six foot level back there, making sure there's no little wobbles in there. Gently tighten these down. Take that out. Now we're perfectly spaced for the LR32 kit. All right, so I just grabbed the guide rail plate for the router to sit into. I don't have a router, but just for demonstration purposes only, we'll set that aside. Double check, our rail is nice and straight against our six foot level. Toss that aside. And as you can see, this is all lined up perfect. And we're ready to rock and roll. I mean, you can just take if you had your router in here, plunge it down, you're ready to go. Flows really nice and smooth right over that. Didn't skip a beat. It's catching all the holes. You just have to make sure you don't fall on that track. You don't want it to be with this little arrow lined up in there. You're not in the right spot. So always kind of remember that when your rails are joined. You do not want to be there. You want to be before it, skip over that next click that's your hole that you want to be in for that 32 millimeters of spacing and just keep on going you can do nice tall built-in with the two rails so super highly recommend if you need to buy an additional rail for your saw even if you do not own the li32 kit yet you know pick up you know the hold the hold hole uh the guide rail with the drilled holes in it they're only i think a dollar more or two dollars more and then if you ever end up adding this to your arsenal you will uh, already have a rail for it. So thanks for tuning in. You guys got to see that um, you need two connectors. Remember that. You need two connectors that come separately to attach your rails. And if you want to join them and get your 32 millimeter spacing, you will need this guide rail spacer. And it spaces them perfect every time. You know, just double, triple check everything because, you know, it's nowhere near as accurate as owning a long rail, but we all can't have a long rail two rails are much easier to transport break down bring to the job site store so if you have two rails it can be done just as accurate just remember to ch double check everything use your six foot level every once in a while to make sure everything is straight and you get really nice cuts and uh, really nice straight inline shelf pin holes all right so you guys got to see me uh, set up the two guide rails using the connectors the festool connectors for my track saw and for the LR32 kit, super easy. Breaks down, compact, small. I got three rails in here. And uh, I'm gonna head on out of here. Talk to you guys soon. I'm Dave Reinhold, see you later.